what is the best game engine to start with in 2022? It's very simple. Which engine? Well, you're not asking yourself the right type of questions. And when you ask yourself the correct, important questions, the answer just spits itself out. Like, let's say you're an individual and you realize you need a job soon. You're getting into game development and you eventually need a job. So whatever engine you select should eventually help you get to that goal, which is get a job. If you go to Indeed, it's Unity, then it's Unreal. That's how you can double check me. Unity has the most jobs, then the runner up is Unreal. So if that is a important question to you, your answer is either Unity or Unreal. Now, if we switch over to different types of questions, 2D or 3D, then this is the list of programs that I think you should get into. Godot, Game Maker Studio 2, and Love Engine. And the last important question is, do you want your engine to have coding or to have no coding? Do you want just visual scripting? And if you were paying attention doing your research, you would have already realized that some of the engines that I've already stated have their own features to where you don't have to just use coding languages. Unity has its own visual scripting. Unreal has its own visual scripting called Blueprints, I think, or something along those lines. So you don't always have to program in these languages. And like I stated before, on this developer journey, you have a lot of important questions that you have to ask yourself. And there you gamers have it. That's going to be it for the important questions that I think that you should be asking ask yourself during this developer journey. And like I said in my first video, I want to give you gamers some gems that I think you should remember. And this one is pretty much going to reiterate important questions are always going to be on this developer journey. And it's something that you have to remember to always ask yourself and to always reflect over these questions is what keeps you on a straight path on that narrow path. So you don't wake up and realize that you've just gone through tutorial hell that you've been bumping from game engine programming language to programming language language you don't want to do this you don't want to waste one to two years going through just beginner nonsense problems because you didn't ask yourself the important questions 